Hi girls and guys, welcome back uh, with this um, beautiful um, uh, mare. She's an Arab cross, uh, 30 something years old. Um, she has Cushing. And what I'd like you to notice specifically here is her uh, hind left. The way she walks, she's only walking on her toe on this leg specifically. So you yeah, have um, fast forwarded the footage. Uh, she So she has Cushing. I think she has half a pill of present um, per day. Um, and she's managed as best as the owner can, uh, which is relatively good. Uh, very little grass, uh, as as little as possible without it being a track, um, a track system. She has a decent um, supplements, um, but we can see in her feet that it's still not ideal, but um, she's running around, she's playing with her friends and uh, yeah, she's, she's countering still um, and she can be quite, uh, quite, uh, yeah, energetic sometimes. She's really funny. I'm not the her usual care provider. Um, I was helping um, a colleague that hurt her back then. Um, yeah, we can see that I, I'm kind of doing a founder type of trim. Uh, so really backing up the toe uh, as much as possible because she tends to have um, sleeper feet. Um, I try to lower the heels as much as I can, so I'm, I'm near the seat of corn. Uh, but as you see, the frog is in really bad shape, uh, so I, I can't do more, first of all, because uh, I think her uh, body wouldn't stand lower heels, and also because the, the frog is so bad that um, she would be hurting too much. Um, she has regular treatment for her frog, um, but I suspect that's not as often, maybe as necessary. Um, so I wouldn't clean the frog either with the hoof knife because there's nothing. I mean, there's cleaning to do, but not with the knife because otherwise I'm straight to the aquarium. So, um, so yeah, I was saying that um, uh, she's um, she's with a, a colleague of mine usually, but uh, she hurt her back. Uh, so I covered for a couple of times and yeah, you see that uh, the, the, um, there's trash also near the bars. I mean, this black material, it's all flaky or parmesan type of uh, material. So that, that flaky sole is because it's not exfoliating. She's, um, she's building high heels that keeps her from... Uh, really cleaning and exfoliating naturally uh, the back of her feet. So again, I'm backing up the toe. So yeah, I don't touch too much the quarters because I'm already working on the heels and on the uh, on the toe, so I can't work everywhere at the same time, otherwise she doesn't have any foot left. Um, and also because I'm not doing her um, on a regular basis, um, that's a politically correct trim, meaning that um, that will um, do most of the corrections but uh, not overdoing anything. Also, because she's over 30 years old, um, although she's relatively healthy and going okay, um, her whole body um, has its habits in a way. Uh, so I can't change everything anyways in one go. She was doing very well after this. Um, and that was just before the lockdown, so I was also struggling um, because that was an emergency call when we knew we were going on lockdown in France. Uh, so I needed to make sure 
the corrections would be good enough for whatever time um, we had to be on lockdown, um, provided that um, as healthcare providers, we might not be able to come out and, and stuff, uh, but also not making her uncomfortable. So yeah, the back of the foot is quite weak. The heels are run forward. The whole foot is migrated. I still tried the, the heel bevel. Um, she didn't seem to be bothered by it, but my colleague um, also uses this technique. Uh, so I suspect that um, she's used to it already. Uh, that's why I... I did it in the first place. So now we're going to the problem foot. As you see, I'll try to rewind a little. She's not standing on her heel. She's really standing on the toe. Um, so I don't remember, probably the owner told me about what happened, but I don't remember exactly. Um, uh, so that might be due to arthritis or uh, I think it's tendon problem. Uh, I don't remember exactly where. She's been like this for several years, um, but still goes okay. Obviously, she's not been ridden for, for maybe a decade or so. So um, she's just retired. Here I'm uh, cutting the frog because she's building excess of frog on this foot. Um, and I knew from my colleague um, that she could stand it. And also because she doesn't have daily treatment of the frog. Um, yeah, I'm just pausing here. She doesn't have daily treatment of the frog. It's quite thrushy. Um, and I was going to lower the heels as well, uh, just to help it breathe um, without uh, treatment. Plus, if the owner wasn't able to come um, like uh, several times a day to check and stuff, as she does now. Um, so, yeah, I just cut it down, which I wouldn't do on the front feet because there wasn't any frog to cut down in the first place. Here, it's just to minimize a little bit the, the, the damage. And I'm working on the heels as well. Um, to help in the long term not having her um, back foot pushed over by the heel growth. She doesn't use them, so whether you have them or not, it does, doesn't seem to really affect her. Um, that's again from talking with my colleague uh, before uh, going to trim her. Um, I knew that she needed um, um, every other trim, the heels really low so that they don't push otherwise she tends to uh, uh, to have the fetlock come over and she moved um, very good after the trim still does so yeah we might only imagine that you know there is probably uh, bone remodeling um, for her coffin bone most likely, uh, I don't have x-rays, but the way she walks, um, it's bound to be a little bit damaged at least. So yeah, I barely touched the toe, just rounding it up and stuff, but I'm, I'm mainly working on um, the back of the foot and, and the quarters um, to help the foot hold in, uh, in shape in the time, even though she doesn't use it properly. And for some reason, I don't have a full footage of the rest of, um, of the other foot, this one. I've still left it this little bit so that you can see the difference between this one and the other one. So a little bit less frog and less heels. just so that you could compare between um, both feet and see the difference. So she produces heels, but not as much as on the other one. 
So yeah, that's our lady. Thank you.